Zana, welcome to the scoop with me, Yaira Ofori. And of course, I am here to give you all the juiciest trending news in the world of entertainment. Now, let's begin with Amrado and Strongman. Yes, these two are really doing a lot of romance and I'm loving it. It's not always supposed to be about bees here and there. This time around, their bromance is coming with a positive energy and let's get into it. So this time around, they are in the news with a new joint EP. Yeah, it's titled Young and Strong. These two just released a new single titled Rap is Still Alive and that is really doing well. So if you go on Amrado's page, he made a post. We are here to read the post. So he says, thanks for making Rap is Still Alive your number one song on YouTube. Next is our Young and Strong joint EP dropping this Friday, 28 July, 2023. That is really cool. So next, moving to my next story, it is Black Rasta. Yes, they are spoken presenter is in the news again and this time around he's in the news regarding um cecilia abnada pes whole bruhaha yes so since he's an entertainment person we would like to hear from his side of the story he wrote, he actually spoke in a long video let's take a look at some of the videos and he washes the money according to alistair matthias a minister has this amount of cash in her bedroom it was stolen for one year she never knew she had two ourselves who were fattening up on the minister's largesse. My brother, my sister, you know what hurts me? What hurts me is that the innocent workers of this nation, now old and retiring, who put their money in the bank, they were slapped in the face so rudely and so carelessly, so nonchalantly, right in the face and told that you cannot get your money. We are taking it all the way to develop the nation. We all remember how Ajani Mwatin, the PPA boss, had so much money in his bank account that he shocked the whole nation. Right, so this is a big win for the Ghana entertainment industry. Ghanaian American comedian Michael Blackson is in the news for the right reasons this time around. So he has secured his own show on BET. And this show is poised towards promoting Ghana. Let's take a look at the trailer. Where are you from? Originally from Ghana, but I was raised in Liberia. My mother took me to Nigeria when I was a kid. Oh, goodness, I did not ask for your life story. Right, so Sir Akode has been in the news lately and he's been seen with lots of artists like Luda Chris, Rayma, Justin Bieber and others. Today, he has announced that he's set to release a new song and his fans are going crazy. Yes, could it be that he has a feature with any of these artists I just mentioned. Right, we can't wait. Right, so to Ghana's very own curvaceous, beautiful lady. She's an actress and a media personality, Jocelyn Dumas. She's been trending since yesterday, yes, um, over porn content being shared on her Twitter page. She's out. She has spoken about it. So those of you crucifying her or judging her, she says her account was hacked. It took the help of the likes of um, Blane Benjamin, Bra Perusi and others to actually get her account back. So it wasn't intentional. Her account was hacked for some few moments. So she took to her page to make a post saying, thanks to QR Sid and Bra Perusi and Blane Benjamin for working swiftly to help restore my account. And many thank you to everyone that called and showed concern on here. I appreciate your thanks. Hashtag love bounce yes so that is from jocelyn duma so those of you who were overthinking and overreacting she has cleared the notion that she wasn't behind the porn videos that were posted on her page following so many backlash from social media on black sheriff over his arrest recently george quay is in the news yes he's saying that he knows very well that it is a member of Black Sheriff's team that failed to do his job. That is what led to everything that unfolded. The person was supposed to focus or to do everything regarding that promotional video that was supposed to go viral, but the person failed to do so. You know what? I'm not going to bore you with much talk. Take a look at the video. Be right back. Black with the other and I felt sad for the young man. I felt sad for the young man because Matthew said someone on his team failed him. Someone on his team must have failed him. That's, that's, because I cannot for the life of me imagine why. 
Right, so moving on, after being depressed for a good three years, Lawyer Inti is in the news again. And this time around, he's focusing his energy to the acting industry. Let me say the movie industry. He's saying that Ghana movie industry here, the actors are not being paid well. Yes. And he's saying this with regards to the likes of Ejako and all that. He's saying that during those days when they used to be acting, things used to be better. And then those days, one person can be on set for like the whole day, having jobs back to back and all that. But these days here, yeah, Things aren't like that, and it feels like acting in Ghana doesn't really pay. Right, so ever since Ghanaian Joe was accepted into Grammy, some Ghanaians have been saying that Ghanaian Joe is not really much in the industry like that. So, rapper Kweku DMC is under pressure to release a new song since Ghanaian Joe is not really many in the music industry. Right, so let's get into the most hilarious very energetic and very funny i i don't know i just like this guy because of his sense of humor he, he's not he doesn't really seem to be serious with anything like he takes things as a joke and it's very very nice i think i like it yeah so amg medical he brags about scoring payday of r2b's and uk based Ghanaian kojo fans in fifa the hit maker said saturday i score kojo fans omar sterling and the squad all kojo later say he gets some some in guy for day the whole London, it be that guy where they play. As the boy come hold controller, like I de kill him. I chopped 2,600 quid yesterday. I go give all to charity. That is actually good. Since that money, you didn't hustle for it. It's just game. And then you got, you got a little out of it. So giving it to the charity is actually the best decision you can make. A big ups to medical for that. Right, so men only stay when they invest in you. So don't cook for them. I agree with this lady for, I don't know, with about 2,000 bags of cement. Even if she wants to build a mansion for the whole of Ghana, I'm in support of it. So this is from Kafri Danku on United Showbiz. She's saying that don't go doing wife material, wife material. Baby, she'll be in the kitchen and be shouting, baby, banku or rice? Eh, fufu, fufu or, fufu or banku? Baby, should I wash for you? Should I, after all that? the man is not going to settle down for it. Those men don't really look out for those things. So nobody really knows what men want. So please, don't kill yourself for any man. Any man that wants you, wants you. It's not the matter of what you do or how you cook for him, how you wash for him. The, the more you even do that, and that is when they even take you for a fool, like, oh, say, oh, you're cheap. So I actually agree with Kafri Danku, but not that, not as if, if you know the person has serious plans for you, as when you get to a certain stage in, now, in life, eh, you will know if a guy is actually being serious with you. Eh? So with those guys, go all out for them. Do whatever they ask. Support them. Help them. But with the ones that you yourself, you see clearly that way, dear, mm, Mr. Playboy, don't go there and be thinking that he will change because of you. No, he won't change. You can't change a man. They only change when they want to. Yes, yeah, so that is from Kafri Danku, and I agree with it. Sarkodia shut down DMV party in the park in the USA. So the rapper had a successful show performing hit after hit. The vet was part of his Jams World Tour. It was massive. The performance was massive. I loved it. Right, so let's get into the issues of Pam 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 Shatawale. Yes, he has announced his freedom wave in December. And this time around, he's not doing it alone. He's doing it with his right-hand man, Medical. And I believe it is going to be massive. I can't wait to be there. I think you should also be there. So the dancehall artist sold out the stadium last year after Nigerians whiskey failed to fill the Accra sports stadium the event is happening on 25th december 2023 don't miss it because i am going to be there live and colored all right guys that's how we wrap it all up for the scoop today my name still remains yaira ofori and don't forget to keep your comments interestingly in the comment section let me know what you think i'll be back with more one play one play one play add class to your music